Planet Earth, where are we going? Yes, where is Mother Earth going? We're aware disasters, people fleeing from economic insecurity and persecution, wars, chaotic protests and demonstrations, increased migration and the possibility of using nuclear arms to address conflict are making the world somewhat helpless and in a state of apparent resignation. Coupled with this are the rapidly developing technologies that, although they are aimed at improving people's lives, the speed with which they are happening is becoming cause for concern. It is in this aspect that World Eyes is taking this platform to share with you these world happenings that I believe we cannot just ignore. Just a reminder guys, at the end of this video, there is a trivia question that may win you a nice t-shirt with my two YouTube logos embedded on it. This is the t-shirt guys, so hang on as you watch the video. World Eyes brings you any educational knowledge or information around the globe current or many years ago that has historical or significant value it is your eyes to the world just recently a massive flood in libya has killed at least 11,300 people with the number still rising with 10,000 or more missing as the deadly daniel storm hit the northeastern region of that country washing away almost an entire neighborhood. Two dams have collapsed, contributing much to the tragedies that struck Derna, exacerbated with an inadequate warning system. Just before this strong storm hit Libya, it also flooded central Greece. As we may not be aware of or refuse to accept it, climate change has something to do with blood. Global warming is intensifying the planet's water cycle. With increased evaporation, more moisture is accumulating in the atmosphere, resulting in more rain during storms, causing severe flooding that has been sweeping the world. Today, the world is warming dangerously. It is feared that in just a decade, the temperature limit of 1.5 Celsius could be within us. Over this temperature benchmark, heat waves can be too much to bear or can be a death sentence for some. And yet, this worsening climate change is being caused by us. Unless we cut the emission of large amount of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, the effects of global warming may soon become irreversible. Just barely a month earlier, Hawaii's second largest island, Maui, had been engulfed by a wildfire that burned more than 2,500 acres of land, reducing most of Lahaina's town to ash and ruins. It caused 115 deaths and the death toll is more likely to climb with more than a thousand people still missing and almost 3,000 structures, houses and buildings either damaged or destroyed. The Maui wildfire is now considered the fifth deadliest in U.S. history. The deadly wildfire is believed to have been caused by the unpreparedness of Maui County officials in dealing with such a magnitude of wildfire coupled with the chaotic and disorganized response to the situation. In August 2021, an earthquake with a magnitude of 7.2 killed 2,248 people in Haiti and left 12,200 injured. It projected the helplessness of people with such unpredictable disaster. Then in Ukraine, on February 24, 2022, Russian President Vladimir Putin announced a military operation in that country to protect the people subjected to abuse and genocide, a baseless claim, by sending troops with dozens of missiles attacking Ukraine from three sides that initially killed 352 civilians, including 14 children. It has been more than a year now since the invasion began, and to date, 
More than 500,000 Ukrainian and Russian soldiers are believed to have been killed or wounded, with 8.2 million people have fled to other countries, while about 5.1 million displaced inside Ukraine. The country has been greatly shattered, almost leveled to the ground, with over 150 cultural sites destroyed. The war is still raging with no end in sight. The Russian failure to achieve its original goal of having Ukraine submit has now transformed its invasion into a war of attrition whose huge consequences are gradually being felt globally. As if those were not enough problems, the Syrian civil war has created the largest refugee crisis in history with some 13 million Syrian displaced and 6.7 million forced to flee the country by the end of 2022, many of whom were women and children. More than 380,000 people have already died in what started as a challenge to the government of Bashar al-Assad that expanded through the years into a full-fledged civil war which is still going on in some Syrian regions. The Rohingya refugees, which are considered the largest group of people fleeing persecution, have already reached 913,660 who fled Myanmar and are now living in refugee camps, mostly in Bangladesh and in other countries. Mass migration to the United States have tremendously escalated this year and the past few years, coming from Venezuela, Brazil, Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, Cuba, and Colombia. Migrants are also coming from Asia, Africa, Latin America, and Mexico, which has the largest number of people leaving that country. People seeking refuge are largely due to poverty, violence, food insecurity, and a lack of economic opportunities. In fact, the exodus of people has swelled to 3.4 million, the highest so far since 1960 with about 2,000 plus a day. say nearly 9,000 migrants were apprehended at the border in one single day. That's the highest number since May, leaving officials struggling to cope. The head of the border patrol says everybody... The increased migration has created chaos at the southern border that has unavoidably resulted in the deaths of at least 685 migrants as well as undetermined number of disappearances, whether by design or accidental. Both political parties in the U.S. are using the explosion of migration for political gains instead of addressing them to come up with meaningful solution to their broken immigration system. In 2020, people all over the globe were seemingly held hostage when a deadly virus swept the entire world. Movements were restricted, lockdowns were implemented, and people were either quarantined and or confined to extreme environments. In some countries, prolonged lockdown has affected the stability of people's mind. By the end of 2020, it has infected 100 million people and killed at least 3 million people. To date, about 770 million cases of COVID-19 have been confirmed globally, which includes about 6.9 million deaths. The vaccine that have been developed have greatly reduced the number of people dying from the virus, saving more lives. But in the process, they have also divided the world into pro- and anti-vaccine groups, raising some serious doubts as to the efficacy of the antidote and whether it is really helping them or not. The pros and antis have steadfastly pushed on with their own narratives regarding the pandemic that actually hit them both. While some who are against the vaccine have quietly submitted themselves for vaccination, fearing for their own life. The flurry of missile tests aggressively being performed by North Korea during the last few months has heightened the tension between Yongyang and the United States while the rest of the world what's with butterflies in their stomachs. It is feared that one mistake or any miscalculation could have serious and devastating effects that the world has never seen before. It is also feared that the tension might 
for snorkel to go nuclear, which is not far-fetched as this hermit nation is now on its way to manufacturing one. Similarly, Iran and Saudi Arabia are closely watching by and both are itching toward having their own nuclear. Finally, this AI thing known as artificial intelligence is rapidly developing into fusion. This is the intelligence of machines or software capable of performing tasks that only humans can do such as reasoning, making decisions, or solving problems. It is expected that AI may even exceed human intelligence which would make things a lot, lot easier. Who helps humans to smoothly integrate and make the most of all the new technological tools and possibilities that are available now. As it is now, it is perceived that AI algorithms could be smarter than people who created them. However, as this early alarm has been flying high, controlling them inevitably may become a real problem, posing a great potential risk to humanity that human intervention may not become possible once AI is able to take off completely. We must take note that AI is a machine, therefore it has no emotion although it can mimic one. The danger here is that when it becomes a dominant intelligence on Earth, control of the planet is more likely to be taken away from the human species. Say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. <laughs> no. And this is what many worry about if AI falls into the hands of bad actors. AI might become a threat rather than an opportunity for which it has been created. And when bad actors cannot be regulated, AI becomes uncontrollable. What a group of scientists can do in a long period of time, AI can do in a short span of time. It can create, say, a pathogen that can kill millions. In short, AI can even create our very own extinction in this world. In effect, AI can do so much for civilization, but it can also cause the demise of humankind. But let me be clear, our world is not perfect but it is indeed a beautiful one. The development, the progress is part of life, part of our existence. We nurture things as we grow. We strive to make life better, much better if possible. But people effecting these changes have differing behaviors, and these differing behaviors will determine where the world would be going. Things are happening and developing around us so fast and so great that sometimes we can no longer comprehend them which only make us pause for a little while and ask, what is really going on? So, where is our world heading? Did we create the things that will also destroy us? Are we in for destruction and our self-annihilation? The short answer is no at the moment. But at the rate everything is going on in our midst, it is definitely cause for concern. And this I leave to you to think about. Here is our trivia question for this blog. What is this so-called intelligence of machine or software that can perform tasks commonly associated with intelligent beings? You may write your answer in the comment section below together with the size of the t-shirt of your preference, large and medium only, plus your name and address. The first two subscriber with the correct answer win. You'll get your t-shirt wherever you are in this world. Good luck. This is all for now guys. A small favor. Please do subscribe now if you haven't done so. Thanks for your time. And that's for now for World Eyes. Stay tuned on my next vlog. And don't forget to subscribe. Please. Thank you.